Anthony Joshua can trace his roots back to Nigeria's aristocracy, unearthed accounts show, with his great-grandfather said to have once had 25 wives, Anthony Joshua is currently preparing for yet another blockbuster night in his boxing career, as he takes on Ukrainian heavyweight Alexander Usyk in Saudi Arabia. The 32-year-old is aiming to reclaim the titles he lost to Usyk in London last September, when the Watford-based bruiser was beaten comfortably by his rival on points. That night he lost the WBO, WBA, Super, and IBF heavyweight titles, and he now faces the biggest bout of his 26-fight professional career. According to the BBC, he added, I've got to take this one the most seriously. What awaits the winner of Saturday night's fight is a potentially mouth-watering showdown against heavyweight, and unbeaten, champion Tyson Fury. Some commentators and pundits have claimed Joshua's career could be ended by a heavy defeat to Usyk, but what he does after hanging up his gloves remains to be seen. Much is known about Joshua's rise to stardom, from his days on an estate to brushes with the law as a youth, however, less known about is Joshua's ties to Nigeria's aristocratic class. A 2018 report from the Daily Telegraph detailed the impact Joshua has had on Nigeria, and his relationship with the country his parents Yeta and Robert Joshua hail from. His background can be specifically linked to the Yoruba people, a West African ethnic group that populates mainly areas within Nigeria, Benin and Togo. Reports suggest that Joshua is among an aristocratic rank within the group through his grandparents, and other relatives. The Telegraph noted that he was also a descendant of Sagamite aristocracy, and Baba Josh, who has the Baba Josh Memorial Hall named after him in Nigeria. His heritage has often been something that other fighters have targeted when trash talk has been handed out, including by Fury Fury, the Morecambe-based heavyweight, claimed in the build-up to Joshua's title defense against Alexander Povetkin, that he was the plastic Nigerian and that he was more Nigerian than you. He added in a tweet, I'll fly the flag for Nigeria when we fight, but Joshua's roots in the country are clear, particularly when reports show that he attended a boarding school in Nigeria at the age of 11. The Telegraph noted that Yeda decided her feral child needed to learn discipline, to grasp what it meant to fetch water at 5.30 a.m., iron his clothes, and receive beating for errant behavior, which led him to Nigeria. Baba Josh, or as he was also known Omo Oba Daniel Adabambo Joshua, was Joshua's great-grandfather, and described by the Telegraph's chief sports writer Oliver Brown as a figure of rarest distinction in his hometown region. He achieved his own renown by taking advantage of Sagamis strategic location, on the trade routes between the ports of the Niger Delta and the Yoruba mainland, Mr. Brown noted.